What does the Bible really say about hell? Many Christians I know don't like the idea of hell, but they open up the Bible and they see the word hell, and so they think that this fiery underworld where people are tortured forever is an idea that comes from the Bible. What I want to show you in this video is that this word that is translated as hell in many English Bibles does not mean hell at all. For the most part, translators have done a good job communicating the Bible's message from the original languages of Hebrew and Greek. But there are times when translators get it wrong. And hell is one of the words that is not an accurate translation of the text. Let me show you. When I open up my Bible to Matthew chapter 5, verse 29, Jesus is talking about resisting sin and says, it's better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. These words of Jesus were originally written in Greek. Did you know that when you look at the Greek text, the word that is translated into English as hell does not mean hell in the Greek. It's the name of a place. The word is Gehenna and it literally means the Valley of Hinnom. The Valley of Hinnom was a place outside of Jerusalem. So Jesus is really saying, you're in danger of being thrown into the Valley of Hinnom. So why is Jesus threatening that people will be thrown into this valley? The Valley of Hinnom is a place that's mentioned quite a few times in the Bible. It's a place where the people of Israel turned against God and started sacrificing their children to the gods Molech and Baal. People were burning their children in fire in worship of these gods. And God warns them saying, beware, the days are coming when people will no longer call this place the Valley of Ben-Hanom, but the Valley of Slaughter. So when Jesus is threatening people with being thrown into the Valley of Hinnom, he is drawing from the prophetic judgments from the Old Testament, the promises that God made to judge people in this place called the Valley of Hinnom. When Jesus spoke these words to the people who were living in Jerusalem, his words were powerful Everyone knew that the Valley of Hinnom was a cursed place, a place of God's judgment. So Jesus was definitely threatening them with judgment and death, but he's not threatening them with being thrown into what we know today as hell. What I'm saying about this word Gehenna is not in dispute. Bible scholars know and agree that this word Gehenna means the Valley of Hinnom, and many Bible translators have opted not to translate this word Gehenna as hell. Here are 13 English Bible translations that I've found that do not translate Gehenna as hell. You can see by the dates on these translations that this is not a new discovery. I'm not some heretic, modern heretic, that decided to show up and try to change an inconvenient church doctrine. Many English Bible translators throughout the centuries have recognized this problem with translating Gehenna as hell, and many did not translate it that way. Unfortunately, the most widely published modern English translations do translate Gehenna as hell. But even some of the newer versions are starting to recognize and put Gehenna down in the footnotes. Look at this ESV version from 2016. So if Bible scholars know and agree that this word Gehenna means the Valley of Hinnom, why are they translating it as hell? The answer to that question is complicated, and I'm not going to try to completely answer it in this video. I'm going to answer it with one simple word. Tradition! 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 Tr 
tradition. You may ask, how did this tradition get started? The story of how the concept of hell got into the Bible is difficult to completely trace. But after doing some research on this topic, I am convinced that the idea of hell came from early Christian imagination rather than from the Bible. And there have been many times in Christian history when Christians have accepted bad ideas and gone off track. So I believe that one of the really bad ideas that has been accepted into Christianity is this idea of a place of eternal torment that we call hell. There are a few verses in the Bible that can be used to support the idea of unending torment, but there are hundreds of verses in the Bible that contradict it describing the destiny of the wicked as death and destruction, not eternal conscious torment. And there's nothing in this word Gehenna that supplies the idea of eternal conscious torment. So hell is not a good translation of the word. It's difficult to communicate in one word what the Valley of Hinnom would have meant to the people that Jesus was talking to. There simply isn't a good word in English to convey the meaning that Jesus' statement had to the people living at that time. So this is a difficult translation problem. But just remember, if Jesus says hell in your Bible, it's the name of a place. It's the name, it's the Valley of Hinnom. Understand it as a bad place, a cursed place, a place of God's judgment, and even a place of destruction by fire. But don't understand it as a place where people are tortured forever in fire. The, the original audience would not have understood it that way. There are a growing number of Christians who are recognizing that this idea of hell is unbiblical and they are working to try to get the church back on track in our understanding of the afterlife. I have posted some good links to websites and videos if you want to explore more on this topic. And I hope these resources will help you along in your search for biblical truth. So I have even a lot more material that I hope to put into a video on the history of how this concept of hell got into the Bible. And um, so I hope to get that out in a future video. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. God bless you.